Well, my whole experience with the Goethe Institute Salvador begins in 1996 when I first went to Salvador by air, which was to show my film on Franz Fanon, Blatskin's White Mask. We had an actress who appears in the film as a kind of um, Annelisande of Franz Fanon, and she was actually Brazilian, and she came from Bayer. And so we went to Bayer, I guess you could say on the pretense that we were going to show the Franz Fanon film, but really it was also to show the film to her family as well. And that's when we first went to, um, well, that's our first experience with Goethe. And so, and it was an amazing experience. So it's quite a long history. And then I was very fortunate to be able to go to Bayer again to do a residency at the Goethe Institute um, in Bayer in Salvador. And it was absolutely amazing. In fact, I had been working on a film, Lina Babardi. I'd been researching that project for nearly five years. And it was because of the Goethe Institute's amazing sort of artist residency program, which enabled me to have access to one of the Lina Babardi architectural spaces, the Quati, which I had been trying to get access to for several years. And it was really only because of the Goethe Institute um, in Salvador Bahia that I actually was able to finally get access. Um, I mean, the rest is history. Doing the residency enabled me to make an amazing project film called Lina Babardi and Marvel's Entanglement. And I have to thank um, the Goethe Institute um, in Salvador Bahia so much for really making the most incredible, generous support towards the film and making it become the kind of, um, you know, exceptional kind of piece that I wanted to make. So I'm incredibly grateful to the Goethe Institute in Salvador Bahia and they do an absolutely amazing, amazing sort of service um, as a cultural centre for the city. It's incredibly important, the work that they do. And i am just been, was very fortunate to, you know, in a sense, have this second encounter, which really changed my life in relationship to the making of that work. Well, the thing that I appreciate about the um, Gata Institute's work in um, Salvador and Bahia is the way in which it has this incredibly close relationship um, with the communities of interest that it works with. Um, it's an incredibly sort of, in a way, I would say, it's a, it's a really beautiful kind of work because of the amount of detail and care and consideration. I mean, the programming, for example, just in terms of the seminars and exhibitions and conferences are phenomenal. And when you actually have a residency there, you're introduced into the city in such an incredible manner. And in a way, the relations, for example, which were established for me with the various institutions, Ballet Folklorica, or the MAM, the Museum of Modern Art, um, and then having access to the Quati, to this amazing Lina Babadi building, which is actually quite hard to get access to. None of those things would have happened. But I also experienced amazing conferences when I was there and met lots of people from all over the world who came to um, the Goethe Institute. And it was really exceptional, the kind of level of conversation, the level of debate. And in a way, it's a kind of model institution. You couldn't really have a better institution, especially in you know, an area of Brazil where it's incredibly needed. So I would say that the programme was really quite remarkable and that was shown by the commitment of the people who worked there and the passion that they had in relationship to engaging with you know, all the different communities and artists, um, cultural historians um, and just general community which see um, the Institute um, the Goethe Institute really as their place. Well, if, some, if, if someone asks me what the Goethe Institute should do in the future, 
it'd be very difficult for me to sort of reply to that one without saying, well, I think the Goethe Institute, if it continues to do what it does, it would be amazing <laughs> because um, to a certain extent, I don't have anything but praise really for what the Goethe Institute's work um, is and does. So, I mean, I wish we had a British equivalent, but we don't. Um, well, we have the British Council, but I mean, it doesn't have, in a way, not to completely down play <laughs> the British Council, but it doesn't have the sort of wide cultural brief, um, you know, the kind of excitement and in a way, I guess maybe even cultural capital, but also, um, you know, it has a completely different programme, you know, so I think that the programme, from my point of view, is an exceptional programme and so, I don't really have much to add, you know, except I think the Gaza Institute should continue doing what it does at the kind of level which it continues to um, make this amazing contribution to culture around the world.